What's going on everybody? Design Coma here. Welcome back. And today's video is going to be the uh, Yellow Jackets video. So I've got it all set to go here. Uh, we'll get into it in a bit here. Just a little little uh, brief idea of what was going on is, is, you know, we had these Yellow Jackets. Apparently it, it looks like they've been here for a while. But uh, yeah, the nest was pretty, pretty big. And, you know, it was, it was about seven layers thick. That, thick, that's for sure. And uh, you'll you'll see where I'm getting from. When, you know, when you guys get into the video. So, without further ado, here's the video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, it was a little crazy. I wanted to get a little bit more footage, but I would have had to have my kids come in there and do it. You know, and I really didn't want to put them in, in you know any harm's way, getting stung. You know, with the possibility. So, so you know, sorry I didn't get as much footage as I wanted to, but uh, it looks like it's pretty good as it is. So I hope you guys enjoy it. What's going on everybody? Okay, so here's the thing. I'm getting ready to go in and remove the yellow jacket nest that I've been talking about that I've been dealing with for the last few weeks. Had an exterminator out yesterday. He hit it pretty hard with some uh, really powerful stuff that you can't even buy in stores. You can't get it anywhere. You can't get it online. I mean you gotta have a license to buy this stuff. And it looks like they're pretty dead. Um, there's a lot of dead ones all over the floor. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try and videotape it a little bit. I'm going to be suiting up. Uh, if you can see, this is right here. This is my hunting jacket. Uh, and yes, yes, I do, I do hunt, but uh, I haven't been hunting in I don't know how many years. Uh, I got my uh, my boots on. You know, you can see my boots. Uh, so I got my boots on. Uh, I got some heavy duty leather gloves, some welding gloves that I used to use when I worked at uh, one of the auto companies, and uh, a shop vac. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dig this nest out of the cavity. I'm going to try and uh, get a little shot of it so everybody can take a look and see what it is. So this is the room. This is the room, okay, and right up, right up in here is where it's at uh, there was one buzzing around in there earlier today but it, uh, it it just looks like to be one I don't know if you can see the ones on the floor but here's here's one on the floor okay and uh, it's, it's, it's pretty quiet in here, but, um, you know, I don't have a whole lot of light to work with. So, I'm going to dig it out, because it's right up in here. You're, you're not going to be able to see it. I'm going to get up there and dig that sucker out of there, because i got to get it out. And hopefully there isn't any in there that are still alive. So, so yeah, my, my daughter has, uh instructions to uh, come and save my life <laughs> if she hears me screaming so so yeah I'm gonna get to it and I'm gonna leave my phone in here and <laughs> well, maybe I won't leave my phone in here but I'm gonna try and uh, try and get a little shot of the uh, of the nest for you guys after I dig it out so you can see how big it was basically uh, it's uh, it, it's it's pretty thick uh, if um, if, if, if you look at this space up here, you see that opening right there? It's as tall as that and just as wide. So, so yeah, it's, it, it's about, uh, it, it's pretty close to seven layers thick, so they've been there for a while. Uh, we just moved into this house last year, so my guess is this nest has been here for quite some time. And it, uh, it just got really big, so... So wish me luck, and uh, hopefully I'll have some shots of it for you. Uh, we'll just see how active it is. If it isn't, I haven't seen any for a while, so I think we're pretty good. All right, so uh, so wish me luck, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, everyone. Well, 
there's the nest it was up in there there it is all in pieces I still got one buzzing around in here I can hear it I don't know where it's at I'm hoping I don't find it the hard way but uh, so the nest is dug out they should be gone won't have to deal with them anymore which would be nice and yeah <laughs> how does this look what a great look huh <laughs> so there you have it that's the yellow jacket nest I've been dealing with for the last few weeks now which has been keeping me from doing a bunch of stuff in videos because it's kinda hard to work in the office when you got yellow jackets buzzing around all right so I'm going to finish cleaning this up fire up the shop vac and get this stuff cleaned up and be done with them for for now at least forever hopefully so uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this you got to get a little bit into uh, what I've been going through for the last few weeks so uh, so yeah, I know this room's a giant disaster, you know. <laughs> There's just stuff everywhere. Alright, so so yeah, I will uh, catch you guys in the next one, and I hope you enjoyed this. Alright, everybody. So there you have it. There is the yellow jacket nest that I've uh, been messing around with for the last few weeks. And I'll tell you what, it's, it's really been kind of a headache. You know, I tried to take care of it, you know, myself, but... Uh, you know when they're in a wall cavity or in a space like they were it's um, it's not an easy task for an individual to take on you know when they're in the out, out in the open which you know sometimes they are but for the most part you know yellow jackets like to go into little cavities you know they like to be nice and warm and toasty and and thing you know things like that so uh, so yeah they uh, took up residence in a nice little space in our basement and you know the funny thing is We've been living here for over a year now in this house and that room has always had this weird smell to it and when I start to think about it now and the fact that the smell that was in there isn't that bad anymore, uh, I believe what we were smelling was the pheromones that the yellow jackets would release, you know, for when uh, maybe they felt uh, threatened or anything. but. I can tell you right now, you know, the, the room smells a, a lot different, you know, not that it smelled like turd or anything, but it did have an odd, strange smell to it. We could never figure out what it was. We thought maybe it was mold, so we ripped out all the drywall and everything in there. I mean, these things have been here for at least a year or so. You know, they had to have been here before we got here. And I'll tell you what, when we were ripping the drywall out of there and making all kinds of racket and noise and banging things around, I am surprised that they did not come out and just attack us in that storage room while we were in there doing all that. So I honestly don't know how we managed to walk away from a lot of noisy situations that were in there because, you know, this is a room where my tools are. I go in there on a regular basis, you know, making all kinds of noise, moving stuff around, you know. So, so yeah, I don't know. but. All I know is they're dead, they're gone, the nest is gone, I'm a happy camper, the wife is a happy camper, the kids are happy, my neighbor is especially happy because he was worried about getting stung. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like, favorite, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one.